In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB server on Windows operating system step by step. Now, if you're using macOS or Linux, I will share a link in the description which you can follow to install MongoDB server on macOS or Linux operating system. Okay. So, the first thing which you need to do is in order to download and install MongoDB server is you need to go to www.mongodb.com. And there you need to go to this products tab and from here you need to go to this community edition. This community edition is free to use and it is good for learning and development purpose. From here you can select this community server and the current version of MongoDB server is 6.0 and you can see the operating system of my machine has been automatically selected here. But if in your case the operating system is not automatically selected, you can also select it from this drop down. And for the Windows operating system, we are going to install the MSI package. Click on this download button and it will start downloading this MSI package. Let's wait for this download to complete. The installer has been downloaded. Double click on this installer and it will open the installation window. On this first screen, click on this next button. In the next screen, select this end user license and click on this next button. Now in this screen, we have two options. The first option is we can install all the features of MongoDB server. And the second option is this custom option where it allows you to choose which program features you want to install and where you want to install them. Here, I'm going to select this first option, this complete option. So I will click on this button. Now in this screen, you will notice that this install MongoD as a service, this checkbox is selected by default. Now this MongoD is a service which runs in the background and which allows you to communicate with your MongoDB server. If I uncheck this checkbox, in that case, I will have to set up this service manually. But if we keep this checkbox checked, in that case, this service will be created automatically for us and MongoDB database will be started in the background as a so-called service. Now we can still stop and start this service manually, but we don't have to actively execute some command to bring the MongoDB database server up. We don't have to keep this service running in the foreground. Instead, it will run in the background. So let's keep the default settings here on this window. And here you will notice that we also have this data directory and log directory. Now I'm going to keep these default paths here, but let me tell you what this data directory and log directory is used for. So just like all other databases, MongoDB also stores the data somewhere in your system. It manages the data storage for you, but ultimately data will end up in some files in your system and it will use this data directory path for storing that data. It is also going to log some messages and informations while working with MongoDB and that log files will be stored in this log directory path. Okay, so let's click next here and here on this screen, you will get a chance to install MongoDB Compass. Now MongoDB Compass is a graphical user interface for working with MongoDB. And we are going to learn about MongoDB Compass in great detail in the future lectures of this course. So for now, I will uncheck this checkbox because I don't want to install this MongoDB Compass for now. We will install this MongoDB Compass when we will start learning about MongoDB Compass. Click next and click on this install button. So it will start installing MongoDB server. And once the installation is complete, click on this finish button. So MongoDB server has been installed on my local machine. Now to make sure that MongoDB server has been properly installed, let's open file explorer here. Let's go to this program files and in there you will see this MongoDB folder. Go inside this folder. Here you will see this server folder. Then you can see the version of the MongoDB which has been installed. So with that version, a folder has been created here. And if we go inside this folder, here we have this bin folder, this data folder and this log folder. So inside this data folder, all our database related files will be stored. And inside this log folder, all the log files will be stored. All right. Now, in order to work with MongoDB server, we need a client and we call this client as MongoDB shell. Now, prior to MongoDB version 6.0, 
this MongoDB shell comes by default with the installer. But with 6.0, we need to install it manually. It does not come with the installer. And to do that, all we have to do is we have to go to this tools tab. There we have this MongoDB shell. Let's expand this. And here we can select the operating system and the file which we want to download. So from this platform, select Windows 64 MSI. In that case, it will download this MSI package. Let's click on this download button. And it is going to download this MSI package to install MongoDB shell. So this package has been downloaded. Double click on this package. Let's click on next. Let's uncheck this checkbox. So it is this folder where this MongoDB shell will be installed. Let's click on next again. And let's click on install. So MongoDB shell has been installed. Let's click on its finish button and let's go to the folder where this MongoDB shell has been installed. So it is in C drive, program files and mongosh. And let's open this mongosh.exe. So here it is asking us to provide a MongoDB connection string. And if we don't provide any connection string, in that case, it is going to use this default connection string. So here, let's simply press enter. And now we are connected to MongoDB server. Now, if you want to clear this shell, you can type CLS, press enter. So the MongoDB shell is cleared. And here, just to test the connection, let's type show DBs. If I press enter, it should show us all the databases which we have inside this MongoDB server. So as you can see, these are the three databases which MongoDB server provides by default. All right. Now, while installing the MongoDB server, I talked about MongoD service. So in the start menu, type service, open that. And here you will see a list of services which is running in the background. Here press M on the keyboard and there you will see this MongoDB server. So this is the service which I was talking about and currently this service is running. And as long as this service is running, we will be able to work with MongoDB server. But if we want, we can also stop this service. For that, we can simply right click here and we can click on this stop option. So it will stop this service. Now if I go to MongoDB shell and if I type this show dbs command again and if i press enter you will see nothing has been returned and here we have an error and it says connection error that's because we have stopped this mongodb service and that's why we are not able to communicate with mongodb server now i can also go ahead and restart this service for that again i can right click and click on this start option so now the service has been restarted and again, if I go to MongoDB shell and if I type the same command and if I press enter, now it is returning us all the databases which we have in the MongoDB server. So now this show DBs command is working. That means since the service is running in the background now, now we are able to communicate with MongoDB server. All right. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the look of this MongoDB shell. For that, you can right click here and you can go to properties. Now the first thing which I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the font size to 16. Then I will go to colors and from here for the screen background, I'm going to select this color and for the screen text, I'm going to select black. Let's click on OK. And here this text looks too small. So I will again open properties font and here I will select 18. So now it looks fine. So this is all from this lecture. In the next lecture, let's learn how we can work with databases in MongoDB server.